Good morning children and welcome to the maths class. I hope each one of you had kept two minutes of silence before the start of this class. Children, make this as a habit. Before the start of every class and also at the end of every class, always keep two minutes of silence. Today's chapter is banking. This is chapter two of your prescribed book. The weightage of this chapter is three or four marks. In the ICC examination, you'll get only one question from this chapter, banking. What is banking? Banking is an industry that handles cash, credit and other financial transaction. A bank is a financial institution licensed to receive deposits and make loans. That is, banks carries on the business of deposit taking, money lending, and also provides other financial services such as wealth management, currency exchange, safe deposit box, commonly known as lockers, etc. Different types of bank accounts. Students, bank offers different types of schemes under which we can open our accounts. These different types of accounts are saving bank account, current bank account, fixed deposit account, recurring or cumulative term deposit account and many more accounts. We, we shall study only about recurring or cumulative term deposit account as this is only the part of our syllabus. What is recurring deposit account? To encourage the savings habit amongst the people, there are recurring deposit schemes in banks as well as in post offices. Under this scheme, an investor has to deposit a fixed amount every month, that is monthly installment, for a fixed period of time, that is maturity period. On expiry of this period, he gets the principal amount deposited by him together with the interest due to him. The amount received at the end of the maturity period is called maturity value or maturity amount. Thus, the maturity amount is, all, is equals to the principal amount deposited plus the interest.